Alright, so in Enterprise Alert I'm logged in as team leader. I'm managing two teams, a database team and a network team. And for both teams I have already prepared my on-call schedule, which you can see here. So for today I am the primary on-call person and Fred is my backup. Um, so you can see all my team members are listed here as on-call resources on the left hand side. And um, yeah, I can easily add them into my schedule just by dragging and dropping them in here. Alright, um, I will now switch um, to our alert center, which is the place where we can track all notifications um, that we send to our team resources. And um, yeah, Fred as backup person for today is already logged on remotely um, using the Enterprise Alert app for iPhone. So what I will do now is I will create a new incident um, related to network infrastructure. I will select a configuration item here that is affected. We select the priority here at the end and um, also pre-select the assignment group which actually refers then to the team and enterprise alert that is being yeah, notified or the on-call person of that team which is notified. Um, we also enter a short description here network problem and that's actually it so we can now submit this new incident to service now and then switch to enterprise alert it's the alert center and now we can see in a couple of seconds this incident will be available here it will be listed that's what you can see here um, it has a major severity which um, we have adopted from from ServiceNow priority automatically. When we drill down into the details, we can see that the network team is paged, and um, yeah, the primary on-call person um, has received an email notification. He is now supposed to provide an acknowledgement back to the software. This is, by the way, the notification text that will also be displayed in the email. You can see it contains all the um, yeah, attributes of that incident um, from ServiceNow. We um, yeah, retrieve all that data and depending on how will your policy criteria looks like and your, um, your alert orchestration, um, you can see we can include them all in the format that you like um, in the notification text. So network problem has been retrieved as well here and so on. So what I will do now is I will simulate the circumstance that Rene is not waking up in the middle of the night as primary on-call person, which causes Enterprise Alert, as you can see here, to escalate onto the backup person. And um, yeah, that's why um, Fred will be paged and will see that um, incident on his iPhone. You can see it here. So he has full access to all the ServiceNow incident details on his device. So he can analyze what's going on here. And um, yeah, he's able to acknowledge that incident. So this is what I will do now. I will acknowledge that um, incident in ServiceNow remotely here. It will then be yeah, listed in that acknowledged view. And when we now switch back to service now um, we will see that it is now assigned to Fred so when we now search this incident here again and bring it up um, you can see on the right hand side in the column that Fred has been assigned and here it is listed as well um, so that has been updated by Enterprise Alert and the incident has also been activated so um, Usually what um, happens now is that um, your SLA is um, checking here for that incident so it should be resolved or yeah, work should be done on that incident um, soon. If that SLA expires um, this incident can be escalated. Um, I will now simulate that the SLA expires um, by yeah, removing Fred here as assigned um, analyst and they yeah, are escalating it on to another assignment group which is now um, the database team 
which may not be practical. Um, can also imagine some other network tier three teams here, but um, for the purpose of this demo, I will simply assign it to my network team. Um, so we update that incident, and this will bring this incident back onto Enterprise Alert. So we will retrieve that information fully automatically, that update, and that it has been yeah, escalated or reassigned. You can see it here. So we have a new notification workflow. And this time it's it's um targeted to the database team. So we have yeah automatically resolved the target and adopted it from ServiceNow. Um I am uh the primary on call person for the database team as well. So the workflow is actually the same. Um I will use that other log on here um to decline that guy. Um simulating that I have yeah not heard the phone ringing or stuff like that which causes enterprise alert again to escalate on to the um, backup on call engineer and he will be able to yeah, acknowledge that guy remotely again so here you can see the notification text as it is appearing in emails and SMS text messages as well and he has access to all um, all the incident properties here. So we can simply acknowledge it again, provide our feedback. If we have feedback, so the optional com uh, comment is available as well. And um, if we switch back to that new incident here, which is not this guy, um, but now it's acknowledged. Ah, it's still this one. So we retrieve it again, and you can see on the right hand side again it's um, now assigned to Fred as he has provided his um, acknowledgement again. Alright, so when we now have um, worked on task and we have troubleshooted it, um, we are able to close it as well. Um, so I will tap on this incident here, being Fred and um, I will close it because I have fixed the network problem, we assume that um, it is working again and um, this is what we sent back to Enterprise Alert and what Enterprise Alert will do is um, it will update that incident here again and um, change the status to resolve. So I will now switch to the resolved incidents view. You can see my um, incident is um, displayed here. It is resolved, so we have already updated the, the state. And um, yeah, when we drill down into its details, um, you can see that we also have added uh, my comment that I have entered remotely as close note here and yeah that incident has now been troubleshooted with the help of um, enterprise alert